You're watching Telecom TV from the Etsy Summit on 5G. And I'm joined now by Simon Fletcher, who is Chief Technology Officer at Real Wireless. Simon, thanks for joining us on Telecom TV. What's the status of the various 5G technical programmes that are underway in Europe? Well, it's the, the 5G PPP, it, it creates a platform which is very useful for a number of the big companies and smaller companies and universities to work together for an extended period to try and to develop some concepts that are going to be core to 5G. And a lot of a lot of the research for me is is very valuable in terms of exploring a lot of the new paradigms that are going to be necessary for 5G. A lot of the terms are maybe familiar to people who've been in the telecoms industry for a number of years in terms of virtualization, network function virtualization, software defined networking is obviously a push towards increasing the data rates anyway. But I think that there's a that what's valuable about that, that research platform is it provides an opportunity for focused research on particular technical areas. And also, it's very much encouraged to have some interworking between the projects, to think about where's the value proposition here across these projects. And so from that platform perspective from the research, it, it brings real value. Now, you have a particular involvement with the 5G Norma project. So in 5G Norma, Real Wireless is, is taking a role in terms of looking at the economic, potential economic value of, of the architecture that's being developed by Norma. And the particular way or the approach that we take there is we're, we're using a modelling approach which is well recognised to look at some of the key technical innovations that are coming, um, slicing, multi-tenancy approaches, looking at how virtualization will happen, looking at some of the APIs, and trying to model that in some way so we can get a feel for the economic, potential economic benefit of adopting that platform or that approach. How important is it that the telecoms industry engages with the major vertical sectors? The Norma project is, is really seeking it's still quite technology platform oriented and, and when we do our dissemination we're not necessarily just going to turn up to the usual telecoms uh, crowds and talk about the technologies that we're developing because maybe to some extent it will be uh, there'll be a sense that there's nothing particularly novel here but what we're trying to do is to research an approach and, and create a new terminology about the technologies and the benefits such that it's maybe more accessible to the verticals and then we will certainly as part of our dissemination be addressing them in some ways through the conferences that they more typically attend which may not be the usual ones that you and I attend as a, as a telecoms insider uh, and, and, and actually that's going to be the challenge I think to make that engagement happen. Will there be a need then for cross-industry standards? I, I'm, I'm not totally convinced that we should lead through standards as the convergence point. It's, it's necessary to have the standards. It's essential that we have the standards for sure to make interoperability work and to have a multi-vendor environment. And I feel that we may need to have a different discussion. Uh, we're here at an Etsy event, a lot of Etsy technical experts in the room. Actually, the terminology is not accessible. If I go to talk to an energy sector player, or if I go into the automotive sector, I may well find that they don't get the jargon, and it doesn't resonate or mean the, the same as it means to me. So we, we, we need to be a bit careful about leading through technical standards as the convergence point. I feel more comfortable about talking around what's the new business models. Technology needs to be there, and it needs to be an enabler, and it very much is. But I think we need to talk at a slightly different level in terms of how we establish interdependence between the vertical and the telecom space. Do you think there's still a trust issue between telecoms and the major verticals? I think we, we need to move out of a we're selling something to you dialogue into more of a we, we need to understand what they need, that's important. And uh, I mean, the, the, the terminologies around co-creation, 
in some ways sound a bit airy fairy or not not very precise but the skill that we're going to need to have to make this work and to create this interdependence is very much around making the other industries the verticals feel like they're stakeholders early doors that they are innovating with us they're not being innovated at by the telecom sector because uh, if we get that wrong I feel that it's just going to be a it's going to feel like a salesman coming in we've got the complete product the complete service would you like to buy it for this and I don't think that's a paradigm shift from where we are today frankly we've got to go more interdependent and, and co-creation in in the way we address those verticals so where does the concept of network slicing fit into this network slicing is an enabler for multi-tenancy networks so i'm already slipping into jargon which i think you know if i was to talk to somebody who wasn't from an it or comms background they would be uh, you know thinking so what uh, but actually, it's very, very important because for certain verticals, they have a, a fairly serious concern about energy consumption of ICT. And I think we forget that when we're in the industry and we depend on those technologies. Uh, and slicing is a concept that allows us, yes, to have multiple tenants on the network, but also to optimize that slice so that they get exactly what they need not no, no less and no more and that includes virtualization of the resources that compute uh, communication wireless links and the storage facilities that may be needed and that slice needs to optimize that resource and it also needs it in in the deep down telecom protocol stack to optimize out what's necessary for that communications to happen so I, I wouldn't lead the discussion with the vertical on the basis of slicing, but it's an essential feature so that we can convince them that we're going to be delivering something that is efficient uh, for what they need, for their needs and, and, and their networking needs. Simon, thank you very much indeed.